This is Ford's plug-in hydrogen hybrid vehicle. It's experimental, it's the only one of its kind in the world, and it's already done six and a half thousand miles. How does it work? Well, it's propelled by an electric motor, which uh, gets its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack, and that gives it a range of 25 miles at speeds of up to 85 miles per hour. Now that's fine for commuting, the idea is that most people will be able to commute within that distance, but if you want to go further afield, then it has a hydrogen fuel cell uh, energy pack which recharges that lithium-ion battery and gives the uh, edge a range of an extra 200 miles, so 225 miles in total. One of the really attractive things about this car is how little it can cost to run. When it runs on the electric motor's battery pack alone, and you plug it into your power point at home, it costs the equivalent of 12p a litre, which uh, is a hell of a lot less than a pound a litre or so that we're paying today. Um, it costs a little bit more when you run it on hydrogen fuel. It, it returns about the equivalent of 41 mpg, which is still excellent for an SUV of this kind. This technology, uh, Ford believes, really could be in showrooms by 2015, somewhere between there and 2017. Um, it's pretty confident that it can develop this technology to the level where we will be able to afford it in the same way as we can afford a typical car today. Another interesting feature is that, uh, although, as I say, its backup power supply, if you like, is a hydrogen fuel cell, you can also use a diesel engine or a petrol engine to act as the generator that recharges the battery pack. So one of the problems, potentially, namely that there's not enough of a hydrogen infrastructure to, to supply the hydrogen this car needs, can easily be overcome if you run it on petrol or diesel. Of course, it then does uh, produce some CO2, but nothing like the amount of CO2 that a conventional Ford Edge or another SUV would produce. So it's very attractive technology. It's similar to what General Motors is uh, developing for the Chevrolet Volt, although the interesting thing is that Ford has already racked up over 6,000 miles with this car. But the good news is that both these major companies are, are well on the road to being able to sell us a, a very viable, clean, zero emission or close to zero emission technology that, that we can buy.